hello and welcome to my new vlog I don't remember the last time that I have vlogged but it's I think it's over a month or two ago so I'm a little bit rusted <laughs> uh, I feel a little bit awkward uh, now but hopefully it will pass soon and yeah uh, in the past few weeks I was ill a lot I had COVID and only now I'm starting to recover and feeling a little bit better and finally I want to film so yeah it's Monday and it's I think it's now how much it is it's 5 30 uh, I just came back home from work I had some dinner and I picked up my camera so I want to show you the book that I'm currently reading and it is a diary of blood by S.T. Gibson and it's a reimagining of Dracula's bride uh, it's very strangely beautiful book I already tabbed a lot I have a lot of uh, I find a lot of nice uh, quotes in this book it's very eerie it has a gothic feeling uh, about it and I really enjoy this book it's a page turner so hopefully I will finish this book in next couple of days also on my audio I listening for a book kind of cursed by Stephanie Fornet uh, in this book we have a girl who thinks that she is, she's cursed, her family is cursed of being very productive, <laughs> not productive, uh, that they have a lot of kids, uh, every woman just keeps having kids and she doesn't want that. Uh, so she stay, tries to stay away from all the guys around her. Uh, she, her parents uh, are dead, so she is uh, taking care of her siblings. And one day she meets a guy, uh, of course, and I think there will be some romance, and I think she will fall in love. <laughs> Just what I'm getting now. I listened for about one hour of this book, and it's okay. It's not not definitely not mind-blowing but yeah, just to pass my time it's okay I listen for that book when I do my laundry or do some cross stitching so yeah uh, that will be the books that I will try to tackle this week I think now I will try maybe to read uh, physical phys physically this one or maybe I will do some cross stitching and listen for the audio book. Truthfully, I just want to go to sleep. But I will try to <laughs> fight uh, that urge and do something productive. It's now 9.30 in the evening. I'm already after my shower. And I haven't read <laughs> today. Because to be honest, I just passed out on my sofa <laughs> and slept a lot however now I've got a, a mail that uh, there will be uh, reading sprints on Katie Coulson uh, patreons and I'm a duchess there <laughs> uh, on her patreon group so I will happily join that reading sprints because it it actually helps me to read much much more uh, so I will be just jumping on it right now like you can see now you can't see anything here if it works yeah she really likes it but it's very stressful she's never done this job before and the woman who was in the job before so while I'll be reading sprinting I will be reading this one I don't know how long I will be reading, but I'm, I'm hoping to read at least for two hours. So maybe I will be able to read quite a lot of it. So wish me luck and let's go reading. 
hello it's now wednesday <clears throat> yesterday i just forgot to vlog to be honest it's now uh five o'clock and i want to do an update yesterday i finished reading a diary of blood by st gibson and i gave it uh four stars uh, i really enjoyed the story it's very eerie very gives a very gothic uh, feeling uh, it's a story about a, let's say, Dracula. His name is never mentioned in the book. Uh, however, uh oh, <laughs> uh oh, uh, his name is never mentioned in the book. But it's let's say it's just about Dracula and his wives and husband uh, and how their life is going. Uh, so yeah I gave it uh, like I said four stars I really enjoyed it I recommend reading this book it's very I usually don't like books that are too flowery uh, the writing is too flowery and this one is definitely one of those but somehow I really loved it strange uh, because yeah it's very different book from uh, what I usually read uh, and I think I will try to find out if this author has more books and if if they think of <laughs> writing more uh, hopefully others will be as good as this one I gave it four stars uh, instead of five just because it was a little bit slow at some parts of it yeah but that's the only <laughs> only issue for me it's not that it's not the book's uh, fault it's my fault uh, the next book that i'm thinking of starting today is gallant by victoria e schwab i think that's her name victoria i never read any books by her although she is very popular uh, in the booktube community uh, booktube bookstagram reading people <laughs> community i also have another book by her the invisible lives of Addie larue uh, i haven't started that one <laughs> yet also but i heard only good things about her writing so hopefully i will enjoy it i haven't read the description of this book i just bought it because we will be reading this book on uh the smut salon uh, book club that is created by katie for her patreons so uh, one of the books that we will be reading this month is gallant so i will start this book today and now i think i will just go and update my reading journal um yeah and maybe start reading we will see i want to cross stitch a little bit so yeah, maybe I'll just continue listening for that audiobook. I don't remember. in the evening I don't have that much to update you on because to be honest I haven't read in two days I have read 10 pages on Wednesday I think uh, however uh, from Wednesday I've had I have a headache that's still going strong now on Friday uh, however I now will try at least to read a few pages because I just can't lay <laughs> on the bed on the bed all the time I just want to do something so I'll try to read at least a little bit and uh, tomorrow we don't have that many plans so hopefully I can film a little bit more tomorrow and Sunday yeah, so that's the plan for today, to at least read a few pages of my book. Hello, it's 
Monday to be honest I stopped filming I think on Friday or on Thursday and I'm thinking of uh, combining those this and last week because yeah in the past few days I just wasn't in the greatest of moods to be honest and I haven't read that much so it there wasn't anything much to update you on but today is the first day of mini magical readathon that is created by lovely G on the book roast uh, we will be continuing because we started with this readathon last year and this time we will continue to create our character that will be uh, going into the Aurelium <laughs> uh, high school school so I will show you what my yeah we have a lot of information it's just amazing how creative she is she created everything here so this will be my character I created it myself uh, her name is Hakate she is the archivist uh, her conduit will be sword and bone practically bone okay, we we need only one conduit so it's bone but if i will be able to read this book uh, this week more than one book so i will read for sword uh, also uh, my girl's legacy uh, i will be joining the uh, worshippers of gaila she is goddess of the night and nightmares so i have to read book for that also uh, to be honest I already read book for bone because I'm working this week full time so there will be there won't be that much time for me to read in the evenings so I started a little bit earlier but for Gaila uh, we need to read nighttime on the cover word night in the title uh, or series name so i chose to read a book let me just see where is the title i forgot already what i'm what i have planned to read i planned to read um night chill by jeff gunhus uh, as far as i know it will be a maybe horror book i've got it on kindle i don't remember maybe three or four years ago ago and i have no idea what this book is about i haven't read the uh, description but it's what well, it was the only book that i had with the word night in the title that i haven't read yet so i will try to read that book this week for the readathon and also i will be continuing reading uh, Gallant by Lee e. Schwab. I'm on the page 116. I'm really enjoying this book. It's a little bit slow, but it, it definitely has some gothic aura around it. Uh, I like the atmosphere. It reminds me a little bit of the woman in, in white or... Uh, the haunting of the hill house something along those those lines we have also a house that's that something happens in it maybe a curse maybe haunting you should read and you will know uh, and we have a girl uh, olivia Pryor. she can't speak she's loved by her mother and now she gets a letter that says that her uncle is inviting her to be back to her family home in the Galant. So she goes there and yeah, there's a lot happening in that place. I'm very bad at uh, the description, so <laughs> sorry for that. But I, like I said, I really enjoyed that book. So I will be reading that one as well. Yeah, so that are the plans for this week. Hopefully I will be able to vlog a little bit more this week or at least I will be in the mood of blog for blogging, vlogging. Yeah, 
so now I think I will go and do some studying maybe at least try and after that I will just immerse myself in reading maybe rewatch some sprints <laughs> I, I still don't know what I will be doing uh, it's almost six o'clock so I have two hours before I have to go to help my son go to bed to do his bath and so on and yeah after that tomorrow I have a late shift so I can sleep a little bit longer so maybe I can read a little bit longer today as well yeah hello it's now Tuesday <laughs> and it's 6 6 30 in the afternoon I'm just from the bath I haven't washed my hair today so hmm, it doesn't look that great <laughs> but uh, I already took a bath because today at work I fell down on the ice so I have a sore left side of my body so I just wanted to lay down a little bit in the warm bath and to relax and it helped me to read because like always yesterday I read maybe only 20 pages of Gallant so now I'm now I'm on the page 178 so I already read 40 pages in the bath and I still really like this book but I have no idea what's happening there <laughs> to be honest I think that's the purpose of the story that we will get some answers if we get some answers just in the end of the book but uh, yeah at least now it's interesting have no idea what I'm reading and I also started reading Night Chill yesterday I read maybe two percent only of that book and it's okay oh also don't understand what's happening there I think there it will be about a guy who moves back into the small town with his family and his daughter is disappears and or is she kidnapped and somehow he's getting the blame I think but so far as I understand it has to be a little bit of a paranormal story so we will see how it it develops uh, for now it's hard to say if I like it or not like I said I'm just in the beginning of that book so I think now I will go lay down and try to read a little bit more of this one because yesterday I'm very proud of myself I uh, I did some studying for at least for at least for almost three hours and I done a lot of work so today I feel like I have to not have to but I can take a free day from studying so I will just enjoy my time read maybe drink some tea or hot chocolate and yeah that's the plan for the evening if I won't pass out because I want to sleep a little bit I have to hold myself because if I sleep now so definitely won't be sleeping at night maybe I will rewatch some of uh, Olivia Reed's a latte or book roast or uh, Katie's uh, sprints that they have for their for their patreons that helps me to read a lot also so a lot of plans just have to start doing them in the morning it's Friday uh, I haven't updated you I think two days or two days one day I don't remember uh, yeah so I want to do a quick update yesterday I finished reading The Gallant by the e. Schwab and I gave it four stars I think it's the the marketing is a little bit misleading because everyone talks about it as if it is a adult no novel, a romance, but it's not. <laughs> uh, 
I would say that it's maybe even a middle grade or at least young adult young young adult uh, because main characters they are teenagers still um, yeah it was a little bit sad book not a little bit it was a sad book uh, but I liked the ending it satis satisfied me <laughs> Uh, I have never read anything like this book. It's very peculiar, very interesting, intriguing story. At the end of the book, the first part was a little bit slow, but the second one, the the ending, it was so <laughs> quick. <laughs> uh, yeah, so quite happy with this one. Uh, yeah, so now I decided to change a little bit my TBR because I thought that I will be reading Night Chills uh, for the readathon that is going this week, uh, magical readathon, mini magical readathon uh, for my legacy of Gaila. Um, but <laughs> I tried to read that book, but I don't know. I'm just not not interested. I don't want to pick that book up, and I'm just wasting my time on that book. So I decided to reread my childhood favorite. Uh, it's Lithuanian edition Vaido Klukas or The Little Ghost. And I have to read a book that has night uh, in the title, night or night uh, in the series or night at the cover. So it's definitely night <laughs> at the cover. And it's, uh, I think I will, can read it in one day, in one sitting. It has some illustrations. Um, I remember, I remember that I really liked that book when I was little, and I definitely want to reread it. It just nostal gives me a nostalgic feeling. So I will be starting this one today, maybe even now, because Lucas woke up. A little bit early today and I have to go to work only after around 40 minutes and I already done preparing so I just can have some cup of coffee some I just can have a cup of coffee and maybe start reading this one uh, today I have a long shift so I have a feeling that I won't be updating you much today because I will be home only around 5 so I have a dinner and just try to chat a little bit with my husband so it will be late already hello it's saturday and it's 4 30 in the afternoon uh it was sorry <laughs> it was a little bit of a busy day i did a lot of chores uh so feel quite accomplished uh, <laughs> to be honest today however i want to do a reading update for you so yesterday, like I showed you, I started reading this middle grade book, A Little Ghost. It's a Lithuanian edition, it's about a ghost, a night ghost, who wanted to see his town in the daytime and his adventures. It was very short and of course I already read it and I gave it 5 stars. It has, it's not the greatest of books to be honest, however, it just gave me such such a nostalgic feeling that I just couldn't give less. So five stars uh, stars for this one. And today I will try to read, or at least I will start. I started it uh, to read. This one is mine by Maria Sample. Uh, I had this book for a long, long time. This one is one of the oldest books that I have on my bookshelves. So, because I have a challenge every year for myself to read uh, 12 of my oldest books. So, this time, this will be the one for this month, at least. And uh, in this book we have Violet Perry has a picture-perfect life. A beautiful house, a successful husband, a darling daughter. Violet can speak French, quote, Sondheim and whip up diner, uh, dinner from the vegetables in her garden. 
She has everything under control, except her own happiness. All it takes is a uh, chance uh, encounter with Teddy, Teddy Reyes. A rough, uh, ro roguish, ro roguish, I don't know how to spell that word. Small time, bass player with the highly evolved sexuality to open Violet's eyes to what she's missing and uh, append her life completely. Uh, like I said, I started, it, uh, started reading it. I'm only on the page 6. However, I already encountered some kind of a fat shaming. So hopefully it was just the one time and... It won't happen again, hopefully. Um, if so, I think <laughs> I I'm not in the mood for books like that, to be honest. So I'm now a little bit skeptical because this author also wrote uh, "You Go Where Do You Go, Bernadette," and I really enjoyed that book. And I, of course, thought that I will really like this one too. But <laughs> now I'm a little bit afraid to, to to read it, to continue reading, reading it. So I will try to read a little bit today. I don't know how much I will be able to do it because I want to do some cross stitching and maybe to watch a little bit of YouTube. I miss miss <laughs> watching other creators. So maybe I just take a little bit of time from reading and do something else um, of course I'm quite sure in the evening I will read at least a few pages but that's the plan for today and yeah I think I, now I will go and start editing because there will be a lot of footage for me so yeah Sunday and it's already five o'clock. Uh, I think this will be my last update for these two weeks. I think it went quite well uh, to be honest because I read quite a lot of books. I finished reading, I read <laughs> and finished uh, A Diary of Blood. I listened uh, kind of cursed. I read uh, that Lithuanian edition of the little ghost uh, I think I, I even I, I, I even read <laughs> more more of books but at the moment I don't remember uh, but yesterday I started reading uh, this one is mine by Maria Sample and I decided to DNF it <laughs> because it's just strange and I think yesterday I said that I found some fat shaming in this book and I thought oh okay it's maybe I just can deal with it but I came up uh, on one sentence that that was just like a nail on my coffin I just don't want uh, to read books like this when I have a lot of other books that I can enjoy because it just makes me furious this one so the sentence that decided the faith of this book was anyway he's a n-word uh, I just call him a Jew because he is so cheap. What? Should it be funny? Because uh, I think this book should be a fun book to read, but it's not. It's just infuriating. What irked me the most that the main character was only just reacted. The only way was, oh, you know, you shouldn't use that word uh, in these days, but... Ha <laughs> ha never mind. And after a few minutes, oh, he's so cute. <laughs> no, he's not cute. He he's talk, uh, talks like this and thinks like this. So, no, I won't be reading this book and it will definitely be going from my house. I don't want to have the garbage like this in my bookshelves. So, yeah, that's the <laughs> update. Uh, so, I don't uh, think that I will be reading at the moment because I'm not in the mood for reading. Maybe in the late evening I will pick uh, other book. I just didn't decide, haven't decided what uh, I will be reading. So 
so now I think I will just go and finish editing this vlog and try to upload it and maybe watch some YouTube so yeah <laughs> thanks for watching and hopefully you will decide to give this video a thumbs up so subscribe if you haven't yet uh, I always say that I will try to be more consistent and film more but uh, yeah just life just, just life happens so what can I do I'm I'm doing my best but like I said hopefully you will subscribe and that's it for today thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one bye